Hey, come along and make a mouse pad with me. episode I want you to come along and make a mouse pad with me so I actually print the mouse pad out on my sublimation printer and I think I use 8 by 5 by 14 inch paper and that's it it printed out and I just put the settings in the computer and printed it out once I printed it out I put it down on the table um, I use heat tape. Heat tape is really good. This is me measuring the um, mouse pad. So make sure all your measurements are correct so you can get it. And then leave room for bleed. Um, bleeding is when you leave room for to make sure that it covers the whole mouse pad or whatever item that you're using to supplement. So that's what I did there. I'm just going to trim my paper to make sure I get all the edges off so I just won't have all that loose paper. And then I take the mouse pad and I put it on top. And that's me showing you the mouse pad. And once you lay it down on here, you see how it's room that's left around there for the bleed. So I leave just a little room. Then I use my heat tape. Get my heat tape. You're gonna tape it down in all four corners. I'm not pretty sure. Did I use my four corners? I hope I did. But you tape it down um, to make sure it's secured to it. It's very easy. Then you're gonna set your heat press at 400 degrees. I use 400. Some people use 385, but I use 400 degrees. And I press it for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is me. I'm taking it over to the heat press and I put butcher paper up under it because you don't want the blowback to come back on your heat press. And then I take another piece and put it right on top. And the heat press I'm using on this side is a 15 by 15. The one right next to it is actually a 16 by 24. But I just put the paper on and I'm gonna close it up. Set my timer, it's already preset because I usually do sublimation on that one right there. And I just set my timer for 60 seconds. Let's wait and see. Okay, ding, 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 ding. It is ready, you guys. This is making a mouse pad with me in less than five minutes. It really doesn't take that long to me once you have designed it. So I take the butcher paper off and I fill it off and voila. Look at the colors, you guys. It is so vibrant. Yes, I just love it. And the customer actually wanted two. So I made two. You guys see that? That is popping. That's when I said all the colors are popping in there. They are popping. So this is just me. I don't know if this is the second one. I think it's the second one. And I'm just putting it aside, but I have to pack them, so all I'm gonna do right now is pack them up. Oh, oops, no idea. Y'all, I'm always doing this right here. So, actually the customer wanted two. So I had to mail two out. So, I went and did another one. And see, they look just the same. So now I'm just gonna pack them up and get ready to ship my order out. And there you have it. I just packed it up and put my little business card. Actually, it's my YouTube channel for my other channel. And everything is complete. 
And I packed and made this mouse pad in under five minutes, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.